Letters and Sustenance was initially a way in 2003 to give back to the homeless in Washington, D.C. It was started after my father passed away of cancer and we were feeling an emptiness at home. Uh, we acknowledged that there were other people out there who were also feeling a sense of emptiness on a daily basis. What this is is John Allen in a nutshell. Um, getting a lot of people involved, starting something new. It's amazing what he's been able to do just with very minimal resources and just really his, his enthusiasm. Um, I think this is an organization, this is a movement that has legs um, because of the energy he puts into it. And that's the great thing about John is that it, it's not just about the good ideas he has, it's the ability to inspire others to have the same good ideas. It's just, we're gonna make some sandwiches, we're gonna give away some clothes. Something complicated happening here, and, and John's the kind of guy that can get people excited about giving away just a day to do this. The year after our dad passed away, um, 2003, um, that Christmas actually, we decided that we had all these extra sweaters and massive coats, um, one of which I'm wearing. We thought there were people in need that actually could use these sweaters. Being able to give them a jacket that smelled like my dad. That was a big emotional experience for me because I knew that like a part of him would be keeping them warm. He always wanted everyone to be happy. Um, you know, when he walked into a room, the room would light up. And I think that if he knew that his family and his family's friends were bringing people in that were lighting up the lives of so many, I think that would really make him proud. What John always says to us is to give warmth, that we have the capacity to be able to do that through events like Sweaters and Sustenance. And so it is touching the lives where some, even in today, we were laughing with them. And some, we were, we were sitting there, we were really learning their story, understanding the heartaches and where they have overcome those. And so for all of us, it is, it is to dream, it is to be bigger than ourselves. And John inspires me um, just to be able to continually live that dream out. What brings us all together and allows us to do this in such a great positive way is that we're doing just very small things in extraordinary ways and we're doing it with so much positivity and love and I think if everyone in America just looks at ways that we can give back and, and help others in ways of like warmth, positivity and love, then I think we can, we can all just be living in a much happier place.